Welcome YouTubers, this is a uh, Sanchez Family Creations channel, if you like what you see hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, here we go, this is Bubble Cap Tutorial 1A, solid color. I'll be using Dusk by Glass Alchemy. So the first thing I want to do is take a 12mm blow tube, clean it up, and get it ready to apply the color. Open it up. Got it open. When applying the color, the first the first application is a coil, and then I go straight into a solid core build. So coil, then I go straight to the center, and just start pushing. And build it. And building that color up, making that solid color core. This takes out coil lines, it looks cleaner. On our channel, you can watch my son Felix. He creates monsters, he draws monsters, and he also does Lego builds where he creates characters to look more like what they are supposed to look like. He's really creative. My son Winston is going to be doing some dancing and some music stuff here soon. And then maybe um, Megan will jump on and do some cool stuff too. So that's about almost a half a lighter. When it blows out, it'll be the size of a half a lighter. So when I'm doing my heating, I'm gonna heat the tip first. Okay. I'm going to heat the tip first, and then I'm going to work my way down to the blow tube. And I'm going to, I'm attached at this end of my blow tube because I'm going to blow that solid core out into a hollow tube of color. Get that color nice and fucking hot. That comes down, it's coming down, coming down. Now we're down to the clear. And you're gonna come out, come out of the flame, and you're gonna blow into the L marver. And as you blow into the L marver, it's gonna go all the way hollow. Then you're gonna do one more condense just to clean it up so you've got a nice even stacked bubble so you're gonna condense that down a little bit. So that color loves it so now blow it back out. Take it off the blow tube. So we now have a hollow bubble. The wall on the inside is completely the same thickness. 
Now I'm going to grab a 3 millimeter rod of clear. And I'm going to coil all the way down. A 3 millimeter of clear is what's going to allow this cap to roll much smoother than any other cap for the copper. There's only three colors I don't cover in clear. One of them is Mystery Adventure. You just won't get the purple that you're supposed to get if you escape it. So as I'm encasing with this clear, I'm pushing really hard. I'm pushing out any air bubbles that are going to be in that seam because I don't want any coil pot lines. Coil pot looks like shit. Looks like you don't know what you're doing with your coil pot. I'm sorry if that's true. We're here to blow glass, not fucking be ceramic. Alright. So, 3 millimeter is clear all the way down, completely okay. Melt it all in. Give it a nice little blow in the Elm Arbor. Place it back up. There you go. Turn your flame into a nice little tiny flame. Now as you can see, this is exactly the half of a uh, length of a lighter. Maybe a little bit less. If you ever have too much, you can always pull off later. So now I'm going to take a 3 mil and I'm going to pump it up. Like that. I'm going to come in right here and I'm going to just get that nice and hot. Right above the clear, right in that color right there. Get it hot. Get it hot. Just let it go. No, no blowing. Just get that shit hot. Get it hot, get it hot. Give it a little tug. If the clear wants to move, that means the color's not hot enough yet. Here we go. We just want that color to move. We want that clear to stay there. Pull your needle out. Okay. So you play your noodle out, I usually keep my mouthpiece in my mouth because now I'm going to go directly in and heat my shoulder right here. I'm not going to heat my noodle, I'm going to heat up in the shoulder. And when I heat up in the shoulder, I'm going to condense and go back into my noodle. And I don't want my noodle to move, but I want my shoulder to be nice and condensed and the same thickness. So we don't want any thin areas. Okay, now I have a shoulder. So there's my shoulder. And I'm going to take that shoulder and I'm going to rest that shoulder in the marble mold when I, when I go to mold it right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to heat up. I'm not going to heat up from here down. That's going to stay cold. This is going to get hot. The residual heat will get that hot. As this gets hot enough, this is going to start to move, and you'll know you're hot enough. And we're going to be blowing into a marble mold. I have a marble mold over here. 
the third. So heating that butt, condenser, 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 condenser. So once I blow into the marble mold, <clears throat> I'm slowly blowing into the marble mold as it's expanding. As it gets to the right size, I slowly start to blow more. And I, as it get cools, I start to press more into the shoulder area where my shoulder needs to be perfect. But I don't want to bend that noodle, so I gotta wait. I can't do it right away. And then as it starts to cool, I really press and I really blow. And put my tongue over the hole and it keeps the ball sucking around while I blow into the mold so that it doesn't lose any of the structure. Drop that color again. We're gonna come in, we're gonna punch it in. But when we're punching, we're gonna just stay there and we're gonna freaking it melt. Until it's a nice, clean, surface. And again, I'm not heating the bubble, I'm heating the stick of color. So after I attach the color, and as I start to heat, I pull away. And when I pull away, it creates a really good steam. Okay, so I pulled away. Now I'm going to go back into the flame, up away from where I just got hot, and I'm going to start condensing. I'm just going to condense that color all the way down. So like, oh. Right about there. So you want like a nice, like, atomic bomb cloud, I guess you want to call it. Now I'm going to clean it up. Now I'm not going to touch that, that spot where I welded, because that weld is perfect. But what I am going to do is I'm going to keep this, get this hot. I've got my hand off. And then right before I get to that spot where the weld is, I'm going to hang it. And now, I've got this elongated teardrop. And then, I take the elongated teardrop and I encase it in clear so that it has the same look as the rest of the piece. When I go down the clear, sometimes I just do the head. Like right here, boom, just the head. Sometimes I'll do the head, oops, fuck. Sometimes I'll do the head and the neck, but I never do the crease, the seam. The seam is always left alone. That seam is perfect, we don't touch it. Now I'm gonna heat this up. When I heat this up, I'm gonna heat up down here first. So that the clear is melting into the color. Okay, now I'm going to go up and do my tip, because now that gives the shoulder time to cool while I do my tip. So I do my tip, 
I'm going to get my chip hot. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to marble flat. Just a little bit so it looks like a starry piece. Like, starry! And then, heat it back up. Right on that tip. Give it another little push. A little bit more of a starry piece. Starry! Heat it back up. Then I'm going to give it one final push. I rotate when I push. So I'm getting that shoulder. Now I'm going to get this front hot again. I'm going to come in with my marbling tool. And I'm going to go into my V tool right here. And I'm going to V it up. And I'm going to make sure that fucking head is clean. Right. Clean, okay? Then I'm going to take my marbling tool, my paddle. And I'm going to come in underneath, resting the piece on the marble, coming into the flame, only hitting that shoulder, only hitting that rounded shoulder on that handle. And I'm just hitting it, and I'm just pushing, and rotating. Just slightly pushing, slightly rotating. And I'm going to come in here on my L and I give it one little straighten up. Now we have a squared off key. Okay. Now I'm going to attach my blow tube. I'm going to come in with my hand torch. And I'm going to clean the surface of that head. So there's no tool mark. I'm also going to hit the side of it. So that there's no tool mark. Now, I come in right above, right about right here, and I never go directly on because if I go directly on, it's going to move my neck. So I go sideways, come in. Give it a puff so that's fucking got a thin spot. Come in and heat that thin spot and blow up pop. Blow it a couple times. If the hole isn't perfectly round, heat just the hole and come in with a boom. There you go. Then I just take it. Cut it off with tweezers and throw it in the kiln. Then, once it's cold, once it's cold, I take a scoring tool. I look where I want my noodle to be. I score. I break, okay? It never breaks even. So then I take another scoring tool. You, if you use the same scoring tool, that's fine. And I, I just clean it up. I tap it. Just on the part the higher. Just slowly even it out, okay? Okay. So it's even, see? Evened out. Now I'm going to take it with a low flame. And make sure that hole, that carb hole right there, is facing up and your fingers are not on it because that flame will go right down that carb hole. And you just come in underneath, direct, and just a nice little flame forward. And that's it. There's your carb cap. 
20 minute tutorial. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes to do if I'm not talking. Have a great day. Thank you YouTubers. If you like what you saw, like it, subscribe, and hit that notification so that next time we post another video of uh, cool drawings of monsters, Lego builds, glass blowing, you name it, Sanchez Creations. We love you. Bye.